Happy Monday! In today's video, I've got a great grocery haul for you, some food meal prep, as well as five must-try summer mom hacks to help you survive the summer months with your kiddos. I'm implementing my new clothing organization hack that I absolutely love and throwing out a little bit of summer decor and sharing a few home updates that we did this week. I'm so glad you're here today and let's get on with today's video. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hello sunshine and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a lot of fun. I've got some cleaning motivation as well as some home updates and some fun mom summer hacks. Uh, budget friendly so you don't go crazy with your kids because it's summer here. Are your kids out of school yet? Let me know and um, I'm determined to have a good summer this year and not be flying by the seat of my pants and running around like a chicken with the head cut off. So I am implementing some things that I saw on Pinterest and I'm really, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting everything together and I can't wait to share it with y'all. So I'm so, so, so glad you're here today. Let me know how you're doing in the comments, if you have any prayer requests and let's just hang out together and get some things done around this house. I did film this over a few days because my fatigue is out of this world. I'm actually going to be getting some blood work soon to figure that out. But um, my husband really wanted to try to decrease our electric bill because it's still pretty high, even though it has come down a little bit. And so one way we could do that would be to tint the windows. But he went to Lowe's, Home Depot, and Menards, and the window tinting is too expensive. So he decided we're just going to do blinds for a little bit. So he picked up some blinds for the kitchen and blinds for the master bedroom um, for those two windows in there. And we'll probably go back and get some more for my oldest son's bedroom and possibly the two rooms upstairs. I'm not really sure yet. But anyway, he's just going to install these kitchen blinds in here. And uh, he said it was kind of a pain in the butt because the old hardware that was in there was really difficult to take out. But then putting the blinds on wasn't that big of a deal. So I'm just thankful for him because he knows how to do these things because... Y'all, I am not handy at all. I am not the independent woman that you see all over the place that she don't need no man. I need my man. I love my man, and I am not ashamed to admit it. Anyway, he is super handy, and I'm so thankful for him. Plus, he's really sexy, so that's always a plus. If you watched my last video, I mentioned that my middle son um, was saved back in October, and he was going to get baptized last Sunday. However, we had um, some severe weather come through, and we actually had uh, two tornadoes that day. Um, right before we were supposed to leave for church, we got a tornado warning, so we went down in the basement, and they ended up canceling church anyway, so we didn't get to go get baptized. Um, and then later on in the afternoon, I had just packed our tornado bags, like just threw stuff in the bags just in case, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You could lose everything or you could be completely fine. And praise the Lord, we were completely fine. But anyway, I had just packed the tornado bags and we had, um, we actually had a funnel cloud. We could see it from our front porch and it went over our house. So I've got a whole, I think I might share some of that footage at the end here um, after the end of this video because it was really crazy. So today I'm focused on this. This is just laundry that got piled up. It was folded and then it got dumped out. I sort of straightened all this up and I went ahead and cleaned out the top of my dresser and made like a whole section because it had gloves and stuff over here and they don't even belong here. I put those in the closet and now I have room in the dresser and I cleaned off the top but now I have stuff I need to put away and then I also want to get the boys um, bins set up because as you can see it's not working to not have them contained but I still love this system. I got the bins up there from Dollar Tree and yeah we're gonna get that done today. So I'm not going to film doing all of this because I'm actually going to be on the phone with somebody while I'm doing it, but I will show you how it turns out, and then I'll take you to the house, and we'll do some summer stuff, so yay. Okay, so this is mom hack number one. I'm not sure if I could classify it as summer, but since I'm implementing it during summer, I'm going to call it a summer mom hack. Um, my two youngest children did have a dresser here and it got moved into my oldest son's bedroom and my oldest son's like, I don't want the little brother's clothes in my room. I'm like, whatever, fine. So we put this bookshelf out here and I got these bins from Dollar Tree to put the clothes in. 
because like I was explaining, um, they just made a mess of it and it was not pleasing to my eye. And visual clutter really messes with my mental health and my anxiety. So my mom hack is to don't worry about folding your kids clothes. Just get bins to put to just throw them in. Um, I know these are folded, so I sound like a hypocrite, but I folded them beforehand, and it's pants, so it's different. Anyway, just get bins to throw them in because it's summertime. It's okay if they're a little bit wrinkled. We actually haven't had a problem with wrinkles that badly, actually, um, and I've got to uh, put labels on these as well that I'll share with y'all, but I really love them being able to put away their own laundry by just coming in here and putting it in each of these bins. It's working out beautifully, so I highly encourage you, if you have a problem with your kids ripping stuff out of their dressers, no matter what you do, and you don't want to put away the laundry, you want them to be um, self-sufficient in that, try this method out. I really like it. I got these bins at Dollar Tree. They were $1.25 a piece, um, but I know in the past, when we lived in our second apartment or townhome, whatever it was, they shared, my oldest two shared a closet and I had all their clothes in the little, the little tiny laundry baskets and that worked out really well. So yeah. And if you have ADHD, um, object permanence is a thing. So the baskets would work better because you can see what's in them, but it's in the closet behind the closed door. So it's not really visual clutter. I hope that makes sense. But because this is in the hallway and out in the open, I wanted to put it in bins that were not see-through because we'll have labels on the front, so we won't forget what's in those bins. I do wish these bins were the kind that came with the clear little envelope on the front so I could just slide in a piece of paper with a label in it, but they didn't. And y'all would not believe the trouble I went through trying to find free printable labels on Pinterest of just you know, a picture of shorts or a picture of pants. Because every time I'd find one, I'd go to the person's blog and had to read through their life story to find a link to download. But to download, you had to subscribe to their email service. I'm like, I'm already overrun with emails and I don't want to subscribe to another one just to get a free printable of a black and white pair of drawers. So, you know, that was kind of annoying. But, I mean, I support all you women out there with blogs and all that, but I'm not going to subscribe to any more emails at this time because my inbox is overloaded. It's on my to-do list to go through 15 minutes at a time and delete emails. So there is that. And that was, that was really random. Let me know in the comments, do you have thousands of emails just sitting in your inbox? Or are you more organized with your life and you delete them every day so that you're not overwhelmed with stuff screaming at you? Moving on to the kitchen, I just need to get this table cleaned off and I have loved having this round basket in the center for the school year because it housed the kids school supplies if they had homework or anything like that or if they wanted to just come and draw. But for the summer, I want to simplify it. So I'm going to take the basket off, um, go through that and put the stuff away. And I'm just going to put like their crayons and markers in the boxes to put into the hutch. I'll show you. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in case you're new here and don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to simplify it and have the little brown piece that's actually a placemat, but they only had one at the store, so I grabbed one, and it makes a good centerpiece, like centering, well, centerpiece. And then this blue mason jar I got uh, at a thrift store for 25 cents. I believe it is Pioneer Woman, and I, I love it. It's got a pretty butterfly on the front. And these little flowers I got at Dollar General, and I'm just going to perk them up and make them look pretty. I love it. And then over here on the counter, um, y'all know I love switching up my dish towel for the seasons, as well as this dish drying mat. Uh, so I had the teal one, I think, just for the springtime. And I picked up a new one at Dollar General that I thought was just darling. It's these strawberries. And y'all, you know what's hilarious? I can't eat strawberries. They make me so sick. But I love decorating with them. They're so cute. So I got this for $3 at Dollar General, and I just love her. She's so pretty on my counter with a little pops of reddish pink. And I also have a strawberry spatula that my mom gave me. So just little pops of summer in the kitchen. I'm so excited. Our sink actually decided to mess up. So luckily, my husband's like, well, just order one you want off Menards, and I'll go pick it up. So I found the cheapest one they had that was black and not silver because I don't think silver would look good in here with this um, 
the hardware we have on the cabinetry. The color that would match perfectly with the hardware, the cheapest one was like $150 to $160. And no thank you, ma'am. I'll go with this $90 matte black sink faucet thing. I don't know. Anyway, again, super thankful for him because there's no way on this green earth I would have been able to uninstall the old one and install the new one. And this was a two and a half hour ordeal. I'll explain in a minute. But while he's getting that done, um, I decided that I needed to go ahead and meal prep myself some pancakes. I like to get the griddle out and just cook up a bunch of pancakes for myself in the for breakfast in the mornings. I don't like to cook in the mornings. I'm just not a morning person. And if I'm going to eat breakfast, it needs to be something that I can just heat up in the microwave really quick so I can get it in my belly and move on with my day. So anyway, I'm going to prep chocolate chip pancakes and he's going to work on the sink. And our middle son came in and was like, hey, dad, what can I help you with? Because this child really wants to play his video game. So he's really sucking up to his daddy. It's hilarious. Anyway, I love it, though. Aren't they so cute working together? We're just a happy little family. Busy little bees in our kitchen on this hot summer day. Speaking of this sweet child here that's helping his daddy, y'all would not believe what he asked us in the car the other day. We were driving to town and he just out of blue, out of blue, out of the blue said, daddy, mama, what was it like walking around with Jesus when y'all were kids? We were like, son, how old do you think we are? We did not walk around with Jesus. But, uh, it got me to thinking how cool that would have been to be walking around with him. You know, seeing all those miracles he did. But kids are crazy. They just think we're so old. I'm only 37 and my husband's 36. So we're not ancient just yet. But my child thinks we're walking around with Jesus. <laughs> have your kids ever said you were old? I couldn't believe it. But in my Bible time this morning, I was actually reading. I'm reading the book of John and um, about his first miracle at that wedding and I just thought that that was so cool um but it was funny because when Mary was like they don't have any wine Jesus was like woman what have I to do with with thee this is not my hour yet and so Mary told the servants whatever Jesus told them that that's what they needed to do and then um he told them to set the the six pots out and he they were filled with uh water and so when the people went to serve the well, they thought it was going to be water to the people. It was wine, and the governor um, talked to the bridegroom, and he was like, you know, usually you put the best wine out first, and then when everybody's drunk, you put out the stuff that's not as good, but you've saved the best for last. So it just made me think, because I'm not a theologian by any means, but I wonder if it has a parallel of talking about how Jesus is the new wine. Our son was begging me to flip the pancakes, so I let him. And he was so proud of himself, and I'm proud of him, too. I'm one of the moms that really doesn't like cooking with her kids in the kitchen. They just drive me insane. So, yeah, I'm being transparent with you there. But um, I'm really working on letting them be in the kitchen because I know they need to learn these things, and it teaches me patience because Lord knows I need patience. And anyway, I'm just so proud of him. He did a great job flipping the pancakes, and it just made his entire day. And I'm just, it was such a sweet moment, and I wanted to, to share that with y'all. In case you don't like cooking with your kids in the kitchen either, it does take patience and extra time, but it is well worth it. So, you heard my husband say that there was something wrong with the hot water. It wouldn't turn off. So, that was problem number one. And this is problem number two. 
The previous owners cemented certain parts of the pipes together, and he had a really hard time getting the thing taken apart. So he had to really finagle it around and pound on some different pieces, and it was a pain in the butt, but he finally did get it undone, uh, and he was quite undone by the end of the whole process. But so goes home ownership. If you're new here, I thought I would go ahead and introduce myself. Because you're probably like, what is this girl and what is her channel about? Well, my name is Jessie and I'm married to Justin. He's right there. And we have three boys together. They are 13, 11, and 8. We just bought this house a couple of years ago. And as you can see, we are giving it a little love today and just fixing a few things around the house. Um, I like to share biblical homemaking on my channel. And that includes cleaning motivation, vlogs, shopping hauls, some motherhood things. And I like to share some encouragement from devotionals I'm reading and things like that. So I would love to have you if you enjoy those kinds of things and please let me know in the comments if you're new so I can come say hi and welcome you to the little family I have here. But I'm so glad you're here today and if you're a returning friend you know I love you. I'm so grateful for you and I just love that you keep coming back to hang out with me. So I also have an Instagram and a TikTok that I'll have linked in the description box below if you want to follow me over there. I share um, almost daily on there. For the summertime, I'm trying to figure out my video schedule. I'm thinking I will keep posting on Mondays. And then um, I'm not sure if I'll post Thursday or Friday like a cleaning video. I don't want to I don't want to devote myself to something because I'm really not sure if I can do that with the kids home and us being so busy this summer. But I will definitely keep you guys updated when I figure out what that schedule is. But I really like having the one long video on Monday. That seems to work really well. So um, I hope that you guys are patient with me and stick around for all the content that I've got coming for you. Super excited. He got the sink to work. It's a good day. Oh, it has a shadow on it. I'm sorry. I can't find my light. So this is the lighting that we have to work with. And it's already dark outside because it is... 8.30 at night, and we just went to Walmart and picked up our groceries. So, um, I tried to put them in kind of an order, but then it kind of didn't make sense. So, we'll just start up here at the at the top at the Empire State Building. We got 100% pure beef burgers, 32 of these. We're going to be doing a lot of grilling. Uh, two 12-packs of Pepsis are actually from Dollar General because I forgot to put them in the Walmart order, so we stopped by there on the way home. And the 12-pack of Mountain Dew. Then back here, we've got some... Spicy, uh, sweet, tangy barbecue Doritos. Some wavy potato chips. Some barbecue chips. Oops. Some Frito, well, off-brand corn chips. Almond milk. Two cans of my sliced carrots. Some extra virgin olive oil cooking spray. Then we got some basmati rice. Some country time lemonade. Barbecue sauce. Black-eyed peas. Um, I got this Justin's almond butter to try, and I hope it's good because this was expensive. It better be good. Let me know if you've tried that and if you like it. Um, some shredded mozzarella cheese. We've got some pepperoni. Uh, I got some of this mountain trail mix, um, for the kids' snacks. I've actually got a whole summer snack plan to tell you all about, um, in a minute. Some lemon ginger tea. I thought this looked interesting. It's an herbal tea and it's got probiotics to support healthy digestion. And it's caffeine free. Please stop clicking that. A couple bananas. Two packs of my turkey bacon. Y'all, for so long, I thought they were out of my bacon, but they just changed the packaging on it. How dare they? But anyway, that's what it looks like now. Um, got some chicken drumsticks. Pack of chicken breast and some thin steaks. Popsicles, marshmallows, some of these buttery round crackers, ketchup, sweet potatoes, some romaine lettuce, a loaf of bread, this giant pizza for supper tonight. It's Friday night, pizza night movie. It smells so good, even just in the box. Some flour tortillas. And then I ordered this box of sandwich bags. It's 100, and they also gave me this. So I got 300 free sandwich bags, so that's awesome and then last but not least i picked up this kids dinnerware set because i'm going to assign the kids a color and they're responsible for it um for the summer so i'll let you see that whole setup later on as well but anyway this is the walmart grocery haul 
And I believe it was one. Twenty something. No, no, no. One, it was one fifty. Great. It was one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Went over budget. Went over budget, but it's gonna feed us because the kids aren't gonna have free reign on the food. I have a schedule. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. All right, so mom hack number two is to try to prepare snacks ahead for your kiddos. I don't know about y'all, but my kids wake up and they're hungry and they stay hungry until they go to bed and sometimes they'll get up and eat in their sleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know that's a thing, so maybe it's not nice to joke about, but I'm pretty sure my kids do because when I wake up in the morning, half of our food is gone. So I got this uh, mountain trail mix from Walmart. It's uh, peanuts, M&Ms, raisins, almonds, and I think cashews. I remember I used to love it when I could eat it, but I've decided, um, it says that a serving is one fourth a cup, um, but because my boys are so hungry, I'm going to double that and I'm just going to put it in Ziploc bags. Um, I've got a really cool system I'm going to show y'all here in a little bit, but it ended up making nine bags of this snack mix. Maybe it was 10. I think it was 10 and I gave my husband one because he deserves a snack too after fixing the sink like he did. Anyway, uh, yeah, my advice is to definitely prep ahead all you can to prepare for the kids because... I don't know about y'all, but when I first wake up in the morning, if I am greeted by demands of I'm hungry or if I'm tired during the day and it's I'm hungry, my brain goes dead and I'm like, I don't know what we have to eat. Go fix you something. And then they'll go in there and they'll fix the most random thing that they're not supposed to have. And it's usually an ingredient that I need for dinner or something like that. So definitely preparing things ahead of time saves on your sanity and it's good for them because they feel good. They know what to expect and they can, they can go have a snack. Uh, there's a YouTube mom I follow. I can't remember which one it was. It might've been Tara Henderson, but she said the biggest piece of the best piece of mother advice she ever received was somebody told her anticipate what your child needs before they do and have it ready. So for her, that meant having their sippy cups of milk prepared before um, their afternoon nap, because after they ate their lunch and they wanted their milk, they'd be screaming and having meltdowns and she would already have it prepared. So she avoided those meltdowns by thinking ahead of time and doing that. So anyway, that's, that's my premise here. That's what I'm doing. So that's mom hack number two, prep your snacks ahead of time to save your sanity and your kids will thank you for it. Maybe not today, but in the future, I think they will. Let me know in the comments below if y'all prep anything ahead of time for the kids, whether it's meals like freezer meals or snacks because I could use some cheap snack ideas or some easy freezer meals. So let me know in the comments if y'all do any of that. I would love to know and I'm sure everybody reading them would benefit from that as well. This is what I was talking about. It's in my hutch right here. I've just got their uh, crayon boxes where I put all of their markers and crayons and colored pencils. On to mom hack number three. I got this four-piece kids dinner dinnerware set at Walmart for $5. And it comes with a plate, bowl, silverware, and a cup. But I'm just going to use the plate, the cup, and the silverware for this setup. And I'm going to set it out each night and put their day's worth of snacks on it for them to eat throughout the day. Now, they have free reign for fruit and all that. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of snacks to put on it for this video to prepare it. But just to show you an example... This is their snack schedule. And then mom hack number four is to get yourself a menu board. My husband got this one at Dollar General for $1 and just plan out your meals for the week. Now for lunches, I'm going to keep it super simple and they're going to have the choice of sandwich, chips, and fruit, or the school is actually providing um, free meals for the school students. You go to the school and you pick it up and so they can eat that for lunch if they didn't want the sandwich. And then the dinners are really simple. I'll share them with you in a minute. So definitely just have all the food planned out. I mean, that's just a huge mom hack because food will drive you insane. So for this week, we're going to have burgers and fries, tacos and rice, white beans and cornbread, lemon pepper chicken, rice and peas, probably green peas or black eyed peas, pizza, BLTs, and barbecue pork chops with mac and cheese and green beans. Mom hack number five is... 
And this is something I'm excited about and I'm really hoping it works out. But we're not going to have like a super strict schedule, but we're definitely going to strive to have a, a rhythm. And so I just did a rough draft of it. I don't want to print anything pretty out in case you don't need to make a lot of changes. So we're going to try this out this week. And it's basically you know, breakfast and meds, get dressed, make your bed, do the devotion, chores, lunch, screen time, free time, outside play, evening chores, you know, yada, yada. And then, um, yeah, if, when I get it all where everybody makes sense, then I'll print out a prettier version of it. One of the things that I really, really, really wanted when we moved out to this house with a porch was a porch swing. And my husband finally surprised me with one. And today's the day that he decided to put it together. And I'm so excited. At first I thought it was a wasp. But then I saw it was a horse fly. I was like, by golly, that's a big old horse fly. Did it go under your shirt? It's a bit over it. Oh my gosh. They just come out mean. I don't know, like, what makes them want to bite you. I don't know either, but they got, they got, they got killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you start swatting? Did you start swatting it before or after it stung you? After. before it bit you like did you know it was in there i didn't know it was there i heard it like a freaking kamikaze coming in i could hear it but i didn't think it was on my back <laughs> so you're after it bit you I'm pissed. <laughs> i wish i'd got it recorded you'd understand why i'm laughing I think I know why you're laughing, but it hurt. Oh, I know it hurt. Remember when I was swatting at the air, just walking, and it uh, bit my finger, and my finger swelled up? Mm hmm You told me to shut up. Get over it. <laughs> Touche. Oh, I hear another one. We're going to finish that movie tonight, or no? I might have to do this in the house. What? Bring it out here and hang it up in a minute. I'll okay. get it out. Okay. Okay, so while we watch Iron Claw and he builds his porch swing, I'll explain what happened in those previous clips. We were sitting on the porch, and he um, was sitting there putting the swing together, and he reared back and started waving his arms everywhere and screaming. And I'm like, what in the world? Y'all, a horse fly bit his shoulder blade through his shirt, and I about died laughing. I mean, he hurt. I, I almost peed my pants. I was laughing so hard. Uh, that's how our marriage is. One of us gets hurt and the other just la laughs. Okay, it's me. I'm always the one that laughs when people get hurt. He's pretty sympathetic and he doesn't laugh that much. <laughs> I'm going to start laughing about it again just thinking about it. But um, he did get a pretty big bite from that horse fly. So, I mean, if you know, you know, those horse flies really hurt when they bite. Um, I was walking down the hill one day and I was just swinging my arms as I walked and as I did I made contact with one of them suckers and it bit my middle finger and it swelled up so big I haven't had that much pain it was like a finger prick from Hades like it was so awful anyway it took a good two hours for him to build this because we didn't know that it came completely unassembled for I mean it was like $200 you'd think it would have come with the pieces kind of put together but no nothing was put together so we get to watch a movie together um, we watched Iron Claw which is a true story of the Von Erich um, family did like the greatest family in wrestling and it was actually a really good movie so if you get a chance um, I believe it's on Max you can watch it um, but anyway after he got all of this built he discovered he did it wrong and had to 
unscrew some pieces to get the handles on and he was so irritated. I'm such a great help over there, but I did pick up pieces when they fell. We really need to clean up this area, um, so I'm definitely going to add that to our to-do list. But for today, we just wanted to get this wing hung up because it was going to be getting dark fast and the bugs are so bad. We get mosquitoes so bad, even with those um, citronella candles. But anyway, he's just drilling the holes up in these support beams. And he made a mistake and drilled the hole with the, the wrong size drill bit, I guess. So now that one has two. But it all worked out great. And the swing turned out really pretty. I'm excited to go out there and sit. I need to get like um, one of those bench cushions to sit in it because it is wood and it's really hard. I'll get it. Just This is our oldest son who is helping his daddy hang the swing. And he is 13 years old right now. His birthday is Sunday. He'll be 14 years old. I cannot believe it. And he is already taller than me. And just this week, he is now taller than Justin. It is unreal. So, y'all, I don't know if this boy is going to stop growing. But now you understand my need for constant snacks and meal plans because i got to keep feeding these growing boys. I'm so excited to come out here this summer and just grab a book and my sweet tea, just sit out here and read while the kids play outside, and we can watch the lightning bugs together, but um, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you have enjoyed it and got a ton of motivation to get summer ready, and you know, maybe you can use some of these mom hacks that I shared. If you need more ideas, you can go on Pinterest and see a lot of examples of the snack prep. That's so inspirational to go on Pinterest and see what other people do. But just know whatever you do is good enough. You know what's best for your family. But thank you guys so much for being here today. I so appreciate you watching. And I really do hope you enjoy today's video. But I will see you in the next one. Be grateful, give grace, and God bless.